Hi, this is Ron from pocculture.com. Kirsten, Brad, how are you? Good. Hey, how are Ron, you, Brad? how are you? I love your background. Great. Love <laughs> that background. Loved the shorts. They're so much hey. fun. Um, my first question is for both of you. I'd love to hear a little bit about your creative process. Um, each of the shorts have, are so unique in setting and um, antagonists for group. Um, how did you go about coming up with each of the specific stories? Um, I, I basically kind of um, had a whole, uh, you know, we, we had many conversations with the writers and our storyboard artists where we really just tried to brainstorm and think about, okay, what are our, um, what are our sort of favorite moments from childhood and, and, you know, and what are the ones that we kind of, we've, we've all had that same experience, you know, and, and figuring out what those moments are. And then we just made a really, really long running list of just like single log lines of like, okay, Groot gets into this or Groot does this activity. Um, and then, yeah, sent it up and, and had the help of Brad and Kevin and um, other executives to sort of help us whittle down which ideas uh, would be best for the shorts. And then those are the ones you see on screen. Great. I, I really enjoyed them. Now, Brad, um, on your end, I assume that uh, James Gunn is very precious with all of these characters. Um, you know, could you talk at all about working with him or if he had any kind of creative input um, for this project? Yeah, he, he certainly did. Um, uh, you know, we were we were playing in his sandbox with the, with the character he created, and uh, it was important to us that that um, we did the character justice, and that it felt like it was um, a, a, a a worthy compendium to 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 uh, the Guardians films. Uh, and and um, you know, he was very supportive from the beginning. He saw the value in in telling more Baby Groot stories in that slight window between the end of Guardians Two and that tag scene in Guardians Two, and he really liked the idea of Kirsten as a filmmaker based on her on her past work. Now, Kirsten, for this, you got to work with Vin Diesel, um, who you know does the the voice of Groot, beloved voice. Um, what was it like working with him? And is there any kind of something fun that you can share um, in terms of the process? It was awesome. Uh, yeah, we, the, the funny thing is, you know, everyone jokes, like, it's just, I am Groot. It's just one line, but, um, you know, we, we tried, we kind of went back, you know, to some previous recordings he had done of the character for, you know, the different guardians films. And we had a couple things roughed in there, but we're like, no, you know, it's like, it really isn't just, I am Groot. Like it takes a really specific performance and inflection. Each one of these lines means something completely different. So we got to do a full record with him for all of the episodes. Um, and it was so much fun. Like he, he came in, he watched, you know, each of them for the first time and he would just watch it once and then just go and just record the whole thing and just nail it. Like really, really fantastic. So yeah, we were, we were like cracking jokes and having a great time and cracking up. The record went went fantastic he's he's a he did a phenomenal job yeah it's not his first rodeo so i'm sure he exactly. can handle it pretty well he knows this, this character you know inside and outside and, and it shows and, and he just nailed it now brad um you're the head of streaming for marvel studios which is obviously um in a very important role especially in this era i feel like a project like this is perfect to expand the mcu um can we expect more of these kind of whimsical fun stories that don't necessarily have a massive impact on the overall universe yeah, I think that's a really great uh, uh, observation. Um, I think you know Marvel Studios and the and the and the stories of the MCU, they really are um, a universe of stories that that offers something for everyone, different tones, different genres, um, different storylines to to invest in. Um, you know, you can obviously watch it from beginning to end as one giant narrative, but you can also go into to those stories that 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 really speak to you as an individual um uh you know and as a as a as a parent myself um who has observed my kids doing many crazy things over the years uh uh i am Groot is certainly one of those shows uh, for me personally <laughs> same as well uh for me and i really enjoyed it so congratulations to you both i hope we can see uh more i am Groot in the future awesome thank, thank you so much, Ron. take care